guys, it's Lydia here, and today we're going to be talking about this awesome TPE filament by JIBL. So, let's get started. Alright, so I really want to give a huge shout out to JIBL. Um, they are very supportive of what we are doing in our community for this coronavirus in making masks and face shields. They have very kindly donated 50 rolls of their awesome filament. Um, I believe 30 of it was PLA and then 20 of it was this awesome TPE filament um, to our uh, community and they're just so supportive in what we're doing and it's really awesome how they decided to send us 50 rolls of their actual material. So I wanted to talk about this TPE really quick. It's not going to be a full review or anything. I just really want to talk about the qualities and how well it works and how easy it is really to print. So I'm going to do an unboxing but what comes it's just basically the box and then it says it's their SEBS or TPE SEBS 1395A 1.75 millimeter filament and um, it's really cool they have all their information on here like the spool number it is what batch it was when it was made um, so that's really cool uh, and it's just a simple box so you just have to open it with an exacto knife And then it just opens up from the top. And it is this like neutral color. It's not, I don't know what kind of color you would call it, but, um, and it comes in this plastic bag, which is really nice. And then, so we can just open this up. And it's a simple spool, simple uh, one kilogram spool, like most filaments come in. And uh, one thing I did want to mention was with their packaging, they also do. Um, saran wrap the roll which is really really nice so it just keeps everything from tangling and just keep everything really nice one thing I do notice is um, right away it does not actually come in the holes provided up here so it does come loose a little bit so I'll put that back but once again it is this like neutral color I'm not sure what you would what color you would call this but it's just it's not white it's more of like a milky white kind of tan color but it's really nice and as you can see it's flexible and it's not really stretchy I mean obviously I can pull it and stretch it like that but it's really hard to pull so it's not supposed to be super stretchy it's just like this flexible um, tougher filament so I believe TPE is stronger than TPU and it's and I know from printing this this TPE is super easy to print so the settings that I use on my uh, Creality CR10S Pro, as you guys know, I got that printer donated to me. All I do is I bump the temperature up to 255 degrees, and basically all of my settings remain the same. Uh, I did actually um, lower the print speed to about 55 to about 45. I usually print at 65, but I didn't want anything to happen to the pr to the prints, and I didn't want it to clog. I did actually, my first prints didn't turn out good. I got to maybe one or two layers, but that was because my temperature was not high enough, so I just kept bumping it up and 150 or 255 degrees is the good spot for this filament. Now this might be a little high for some printers, but it just prints really smooth with this temperature and I've had no problems with it since I've bumped it up. Uh, and so these filament these spools, I wanted to mention, was once again they have their sticker on here, and again it says their name, and then the type of filament it is. So their TPE is a little different from others, I believe. I haven't reviewed any other TPE filament, but theirs is SEBS. Now I'm not 100% sure what SEBS means, but I do know that this uh, TPE is very heat resistant because, as you know, it has to be printed at 255 degrees. So it's way more durable than normal TPU filament, and it, that just makes it a way better filament to use for, especially printing these masks. All right, so coming to the prints, I actually want to show you guys what we've been printing with these. So we've been focusing on printing masks only with this filament because if we print the headbands for the face shields, it would be too flimsy. Uh, but we just found the jackpot is to print it with these ma for these masks. And we actually don't print the inserts um, out of the SEBS TPU filament. We just print it out of our normal PLA. And that just makes it a lot stronger. 
but this is what it looks like and honestly I think it looks like it just came out of the store you can barely see the layer lines I did print at 0 0.26 millimeter layer height um, with my 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle and it just it's amazing there's still retraction obviously you can still see a little um, of the retraction lines there but there's you can't feel it or anything it's obviously just visual and I'm sure I could I could hide that in a better way I probably could hide it on the no nose part more but honestly you don't really see it on the bottom here and it just makes a way better fit around your face and um, there's no sanding needed it is very soft it's like a very smooth soft filament the the edges up here are smooth as can be there's no smoothing like I would have to do with my poly smooth filament um, so we've actually taken a break with that filament for now I don't know if I have a lot left actually I use probably two or three rolls of the clear so um, I won't be printing the masks in that for now and plus as you can see my polishers aren't working um, one of them stuck open so I have to figure out how to fix that but besides that um, this is just what we've been trying to print now not a lot of us can print in my community with this because it is flexible and not everybody's printers are equipped with it but with the awesome extruder on the CR-10S Pro it prints flawlessly as long as my temperature is high enough and I'm actually going to start printing it on the TiVo Flash because the Titan extruder will help so much with that. I'm not going to print an insert for that one I'm just gonna see how well it prints just because this filament all you need to do is change the temperature there's no real, real settings you have to change but if you want it to be a little bit more successful obviously print it a little slower uh, but once again this filament is just phenomenal I would recommend going and buying it from them I don't know if you can actually go to the website and purchase it you might need to email them and buy it from them um, but they have kindly donated once again to us and so they're great people over at JBL uh, definitely go check out their company they're just very kind if you email them and you ask them um, about their material they'll let you know everything but once again if you guys are printing uh, masks for your community during the coronavirus definitely reach out to the company and ask if you can purchase some uh, from them to start printing your masks out of this because it's just great quality stuff and it seals your face way better there's no extra things you need to add to it you don't need to add foam or anything to it just because of the flexibleness and the seal it creates on your face so once again just go get this filament it's pretty awesome and I definitely 100% recommend it alright so that is it for this semi review I really just wanted to let you guys know about this awesome filament I just can't believe how well it prints and how easy it really is to print so this is probably the flexible filament I will forever be printing I do obviously have a bunch of flexible filament left but that stuff is just a little difficult to print with and one thing I did also forget to mention was this stuff you do not need to dry out um, it doesn't uh, doesn't suck up moisture as much as normal filament would so you really don't need to dry it out and this is a print right out of the box so um, I did nothing to the material all I did was put it on my printer press print and um, set up the temperature to make sure that everything worked great now there is only one thing that I have a problem with uh, because it is flexible filament it has not been fully sticking to my bed I've actually printed five of these at once and um, the they none of them came off throughout the 13 hours it took to print the five um, but the only thing is I could see the edges came up a little bit so if you're gonna print something bigger with this make sure you have it close enough to your build plate but not too close to where it would um, start skipping and mess up your entire print but make sure you have glue stick or whatever you use to adhere your prints to the bed because this stuff will flex up now I do know some people use rafts and I don't know how well it will separate from a raft so I could definitely try that out and I'll let you guys know on my Instagram if I do links for to that will be down below also will be on my Twitter too um, but other than that once again this is just great quality filament I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions please let me know down below I'm trying to keep up posting during all this free time I have I'm just whipping out videos as much as I can hope you enjoyed them let me know again down below in the comments what you think and if you will go and get some of this for yourself I will leave a link to this down below in the description for you guys to go pick up yourself again thank you so much for watching hope you all staying safe and hope to see you in the next video bye